Hello, I'm Kate and welcome along to another car boot sale haul. I've got some lovely things to show you. I've got all sorts from plants. There's a lot of plants in this haul. Um, and I've also got some dresses. I've got some gorgeous like bed linen and some cushion covers and just some lovely antique bits as well. So all sorts in this haul, but I hope you're okay and sending lots of love to you. Hope you've had a nice week. Before I get into the haul, I've got to do my mug of the day like I always do. And it's this gorgeous Kath Kidston one. And I've actually got two of these now. I found one at a car boot sale and I found one um, in a charity shop. And I just love this print. It's just really, um, really pretty. It's not called a print, is it? Detail? I just love it. Pattern. I think pattern. Um, but yeah, or mug. I just love this mug. I think it's really pretty with all the, the bright flowers. Really cute. It's like a sort of oldie Kath Kidston one. Um, and this was either one pound or two pounds, I think, from a car boot sale or whichever one it is. So this is my mug of the day. And I've got a decaf black coffee because we run out of milk this morning. So I've had some um, black coffee. Do you know what? It's not too bad, actually, because we don't have like really strong coffee. It's like little, little pods. Little, 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 what? Little pods for the little coffee machine. And um, yeah, they're really nice. So I, I might start having black coffee. Um, but this is a black decaf coffee, so I'll see what this is like. As I was making it, I thought, why am I even making a, a decaf black coffee? But then it was too late. I'd already started it. Let's have a taste of this. That's not bad either. This is instant, little instant decaf. And that's quite nice as well. So um, yeah, that's not bad at all. I think when it's stronger, it can be a bit more like, Ugh. but that's really nice actually. Mark off the day, Kath Kidsley one second hand. Right, um, I've got lots of plants to show you that I've actually pre-filmed because I've planted them all now. Um, so shall I add that first and then get into everything? Shall I do that? Okay, I'll add the plant section now and then I'll come back after that and show you everything else. And these are all the plants that I picked up from the car boot sale. So you might have seen this one in last week's um, video. So I had that in the background. It's so pretty, I love the colours. Oh, I've lost the little sticker but it's in um yeah it's in last week's video and i got some of these pots of petunias and they were one pound each i love this color so i've got three of these pots um two pink ones and that purple there's one just at the back there so one pound each for those and i might put make those into hanging baskets as well so i've got a few um to put up actually and then these are marigolds so the whole tray here Oh, it was from a different lady actually that was three pounds for the tray so i'm going to put that in some pots as well and i had some some marigolds last year and they're just they were really pretty actually so that was three pounds for the whole tray and i don't know if i just said but that was three pounds as well and then the trays at the back here were all a pound each so they're kind of the guy was just clearing them so i got loads of them so these violas and i bought some from him before actually and i've put them everywhere so I've got these violas, I think they're just gorgeous. I'll put them in some bigger pots. Uh, so I've got two, oh, two of those. And then at the back here, we've got some lobelia. I couldn't remember the name of that lot in last week's video. So that says trailing mixed. And then over here, trailing dark blue. So I'll make some hanging baskets up with these. And that's what the guy said they're for, but people would put off them, I think, so they're slightly longer. I think they're lovely. And then down here, I've got some beautiful flowers. Hello, Rufus. Hello. Um, or plants, I should say. I'm not entirely sure what this one is. Um, it's really pretty. It just says on here, perennial, and that was three pounds for this one. I love that colour. I think it's, uh, I think it's gorgeous, so pretty. And this one is... What's it, what are you called again, this one? Scabiosa. This lovely one here, I just think they're yeah, so pretty. And there's another Scabiosa down here. So hopefully they will, yeah, they're about to come out and flower, aren't they? And then some Cosmos, um, if I'm saying that correctly. I got three and these were a pound each. They're, I think they're one of my favorite flowers. I've got some already, but I thought I'd add some more um, to the front garden, our front garden, because they do quite well. Then you can um, use them as cut flowers as well, can't you? 
I think they'll be all pretty together. Hello Rufus. So these are all my plants from the car boot sale. So some bargain plants and then some yeah really beautiful, beautiful flowers. I think they're so pretty. Any tips for any of these? Let me know in the comments because I'm very new to gardening. I don't really know what I'm doing. Um, I just I just love it. Hopefully I'll have some nice hanging baskets with these little bargain ones that were a pound um pound a tray. Hello Rufus. Hello Rufus. He loves the warmer weather. Rufus! Hello. Hello. And I planted a lot of them on our patio area. So once they come up and they're in bloom, I'll, I'll show you them, you know, when they're all like popped out to say hello. And I've got some in the front, in the front garden and at the back as well. So I've kind of put them all over. But I did get a few more plants this morning. Oh, sorry, a bit of a view of the side of my head there. I've got some more marigolds. Because these do really well, don't they? And they last pretty much all summer long. So I've got some more marigolds, a couple of trays, and these were £2.20 for the two. This one's slightly smaller. I think it's just, you're going to be orange or yellow. It'll be a surprise. I don't really know. Oh, I think they're orange, actually. I did see the little lady had a little, like, ticket thing. Um, you know, the information with the flower on. So these are £2.20 for the two trays. So there's, oh, there's six in each, but that one's, yeah, slightly bigger. So I'll pop those pot those I'll put them in some pots so yeah two pounds twenty the first thing in my was well, not the first thing in my car boot sale haul but it's the first thing I'm showing you here because you've already seen the plants and that was the other day right so I'll put those down there and then I've got mud on my hands now um right so I'll show you I've got this lovely little book here and just things kind of all around me so I got this as well this morning at the car boot sale it's just a really pretty book it's Reader's Digest Nature Lovers Library Field Guide to the Wildflowers of Britain. And I just really liked the look of it. I thought it was really pretty. And it was only a pound as well from a really nice seller, actually. So I thought I would grab that. I love the look of it. And I've got some, I'm sitting in the outdoor kitchen thing again. Well, currently it's just an outdoor sort of shelter with a bench in and a barbecue because I've taken the table out because um, I've got the bench here. Um, so I'm sitting in the outdoor space thingy with a roof over my head um, and I've got some, I've got a dresser just here to the right of me and I've got some flowery books on there, sort of ones like flower arranging and gardening and different things. So I'm just, just going to put it out here with um, with all them and so I can read it. But it just looks lovely. I love the style of it. And I've got lots of these at the minute as well. These are sort of like pansies or violas. So there's just all sorts in here. So I can just feed up a seagull on the roof or a pigeon or something. So I'll just read up on all the different wildflowers of Britain. Oh, there's a dandelion, isn't it? A little dandelion. And there's all sorts in here. And I'm just like, yeah, I love things like this. And it's good to know what is a wildflower. What is a weed? What is bad? What is good? I suppose all, they're all quite good in their own different ways aren't they but I just really like that so I got that for a pound my little lovely sort of vintagey looking book I'm not sure how old it is let's have a look what does it say in here 1981 that's how old it is so oh it's nearly as old as me you're two years younger than me oh yay you would say age you know almost so a little book um there and then this is lovely so I saw these on the table but they were really um dusty and I thought, oh, I quite like the look of that. So it's just a tin box for matches. And it's by Garden Trading, which is a really nice like garden make, isn't it? Um, and I've put my own matches in there. You may have the, the long matches. I've just shoved any old ones in there. Um, but that's great, isn't it? Oh, there's a bit of dust in there that just flew about. That's, that's nice. I did wash it, but um, a bit of dust stayed in there. Um, so yeah, I've just put my matches in there so I can find them really easily. And that'd be good great to um have by our log burner so i really like that for a pound it's great and there was no haggle on that it was just a straight up pound swap so yeah i really like their little matches box and i think i had a little google you can get them um in cream as well i like that i think it's lovely i probably would have preferred the cream but it's a car boot sale so you're just gonna buy what's there um, but that's really nice so that'll go with our log burner on our shelf somewhere it's lovely isn't it I really like that um, and then what else have I got over here? I've got some lovely, I've got some really lovely jugs. And some of them are a little bit, uh, one's a tiny bit chipped and they're quite worn, but they're just beautiful. They're kind of like antique -y things and they're gonna go out here on, on the dresser and they'll just look really nice. I'll show you them in a second. I do love a little antique 
bottle, a little old bottle. My mum used to collect these, she had loads of them and she passed quite a few on to me. Um, and whenever I see them, I think, oh, I'll just get a couple and put them here and there. They just look so pretty with flowers in. So I've got three of these bottles. There was a really lovely seller. She was selling just all her, I think she does like antique fairs and then she was just selling everything she hadn't sold. She's having a good clear out. So she has some really nice things and she's a lovely lady. So I got these bottles for a pound each. And this one is really quite, um, quite well, it's quite sweet, I was going to say, but then quite little, I think I was going to come out of my mouth. Um, so this says, I'm just jabbling here, jabbling, what is that even? That's not, what's jabbling? That's what I am doing though. Um, so this is Elements. What do you say? Elements. Is that an E? Um, brocation. So um, we've got the information on the back here. I should probably just read that actually rather than trying to read the front. Um, I'm just going to put these down while I do that. Okay, so on here, she's written some information and it says James Elliman Embrocation, 1847 for animals, 1850 for humans. Oh, okay. Oh, does that mean the bottle was first for animals, then for humans? Or is it the medicine? I don't, I don't know. Um, sold in 42 countries, made from eggs, vinegar and turpentine. Or is that the, must be the... Um, the medicine then it's a little medicine bottle and originally she wanted to eggs vinegar and turpentine that sounds funny and it says slough slough two pounds fifty for that little oh that little bottle so really cute i just the color that sort of i love that greeny glass it's gorgeous isn't it so i'll just pop that back over here and then i've got this one as well this is boots the chemist a really nice um bottle it looks like it was found in in the ground or something when we've like been digging up um when we've like in our last house we had to dig up some of the garden um because we put in a little sort of patio decking area and we found quite a few bottles there so for some reason they they must have been i don't know they just ended up in the ground so maybe you were found in the ground as well i don't know but we found quite a few um yeah in the ground for some reason boots the chemist and i think yeah originally she wanted 150 but that was a pound um for that bottle really nice so i've got um three of them and i love things in threes i'll show you actually when i finish this i'll just film the things that i show you um so you can see what they look like on the dresser because if you haven't watched my previous videos or seen our dresser that we got here you won't know what i'm talking about so i'll i'll set them up and film it film them at the end for you and then my final bottle is this green one sort of dark green one and it said it said it says morgan's norwich and lynn I think it was like King's Lynn, made in England. So it was just a really nice um, coloured bottle. And I think that'll go lovely together. So all three of them are up there. So from the same lady, I got a couple of beautiful jugs. And I'm just gonna kind of display them out here, like I said, and maybe inside as well. They've been in the green living room. They look really nice there. So I'll, they might stay out here. Or I might just take them inside, but they'll look gorgeous with flowers in. But how beautiful is that jug? It was just so, pretty so i've got two of them for five pounds and this one does have a little chip here so it's got a little um a little chip there but it doesn't matter to me because i can just display it this way and you won't be able to see the chip and it's still just gorgeous so i love this color i think it's um it's just so beautiful so with flowers in it's gonna it's gonna look amazing i love that i've been looking out for something like this a really pretty um green jug and I haven't found one so I was really excited um, to see it on her stall. It says 1940s Burlington jug and yeah she wanted five pounds for it but in the end I got five for, no I didn't, I got two for five pounds so this is Burlington on the bottom there but isn't that just, that's just gorgeous isn't it? I love that, so it's going to be perfect for flowers and yeah it's just beautiful love the colour, love the pattern and love the shape. It's just gorgeous. I'm very glad you're mine, lovely jug. I wonder where you've been in your life. I'd love to find out, but there's there's no way, is there? <laughs> and yeah, it's lovely, isn't it? So I'm going to put that in here, um, in here, on there. And then this one's just so gorgeous. It looks lovely next to it, actually, even without flowers in. Another lovely jug. And this one is green as well, but it's got sort of um, I don't know, sort of ageing stuff. It's sort of been, it's changed colour 
um, probably over the years, but I really like that. I really like how it's kind of been worn and faded and yeah, it's so pretty. This is um, 1940s Sadler English Jug. And yeah, she wanted five pounds for that as well. Uh, but I got, you know, that's probably her like antique fair things, but I got them both for five pounds. So you just see on the bottom, it says Sadler made in England. So what do you think? I just, yeah, I love them. I think you're so beautiful and together they just look, they just look gorgeous. Yeah, love them. So I'm gonna put those there. And like I said, I'll show you my dresser at the end as well. And you can see what they look like. So I've got a sort of a mix of new and old um, on here, which is, which is lovely. So I've got some Emma water, then I can mix it with that. And um, yeah, terracotta pots. So I've got a little radio up there. So, and then some rusty things on the top. <laughs> Um, but I'll show you that in a second. So what else have I got here? Oh, I've got a little bag, which I just, uh, I bought from the guy I got this from. So I just need an extra bag. So I, I bought that for 50p and chucked my things in there. So it's just, a, you know, nothing very exciting. Just a pink flowery, pink and blue flowery bag. So that was 50p. And then I've got some dresses over here and a top, which I'll show you. And yeah, a couple of things here. So I've got some... I love these. I've got a bed spread. I'm just gonna, oh, oh no, show that in a second. I'll show you these first. So I saw these and thought, oh, they look gorgeous. So some big gingham linen um, pillow covers, cushion covers, and they were, well, it was six pounds for the throw and these. So that was the, yeah, the total was six pounds. So they're just, I think they're homemade. So they've got Velcro along there. So I'll put, I've got some big cushions I can put in here. So really large cushion covers and they're just going to look gorgeous in a bedroom or outside. Um, oh, there's a couple of marks on them. Are you marks? Oh yeah, there's a little mark there, but that's fine. Can't really see it. I don't really care. So I'll just give them a wash and yeah, they're, um, they'll look lovely. So linen, gingham linen, green and white cushion covers. So nice, aren't they? Two of those. And they go really nicely with the throw that I'm going to show you. So there's the other one. Two of those. Like I said, they're nice and large as well. So they're bigger than um, normal pillow cushion size. They're like the, the larger one, which is really good. So I'll just put those down there. And yeah, I'm onto my ah, big throw, which is just gorgeous. And then I shall show you the clothes. And then that will be it for this, um, this video. But this is so lovely. So I saw it on the ground, I thought it looks really nice. And yeah, I think she wanted, I think it was, I can't remember, but I got a little bundle deal for six pounds for this and the two um, cushion covers. But this is, I think it's Marks and Spencer. She says it's king size or super king size. I can't remember what she said, but it's really large. And this is the pattern on one side. So it's just uh, white with, um, with leaves all over it. I think that's ivy, isn't it? Are you, is that ivy? think it is or just little leaves and stuff so I think that's really pretty and actually that'd be great outside as a picnic blanket on the floor or as a throw on a bed or on the sofa it'd be really nice in the green living room or in in our bedroom and then on the inside uh it's really pretty so it's flowery on the inside where does it say where it's from no I think it's I think she said M&S or Laura Ashley I can't remember one of those Laura Ashley or, or M&S but that's the inside hello Rufus it's just come over um, that's the inside, so really pretty flowers. Oh, it smells really nice. Obviously, it's freshly washed. That's so pretty as well, isn't it? The yellow and purple flowers. It's nice, it's got, a, you know, different patterns on it. It'll be quite warm as well. I love the fact you've got two different um, patterns. So you've got the flowers on this side, the yellow and purple flowers. As you can see, can you see the purple ones and the green? Whoa! Oh, Rufus! Pigeon just flew in. That really scared me. Sorry if I scared you. Oh, oh, Rufus, that scared me. Did that scare you? No, he didn't even bark. Normally he barks at them. Where was I? Purple flowers. <laughs> that was scary. Pigeons are on the roof. They wanted to see what the fuss was all about with this um, with this throw. Can you see the purple flowers there? It's quite, all oh, they're blue, but they're quite sort of pale, but yeah, lovely. I love that. I think it's gorgeous. It's massive. I can't really show you properly, but um, yeah, so six pounds for this throw and the two um, pillow, no, cushion covers. Oh, Rufus is going, to, you want to go in your bed? Go on then. 
he's going straight on the um on the throw i love those patterns together the gingham and the flowers and yeah the sort of leafy side as well as just the, it goes so nicely it's all sort of natural and fresh and just lovely and then on to my final things i've got some clothes to show you i've got two dresses and a top and then that'll be it for this car boot sale haul so this um is a ralph lauren top it's got a bit of fluff here i think it was in the like hanging up in the ladies section so um it was on a rail with all women's clothes but i suppose it could be for anyone but it's polo by ralph lauren underwear it was two pounds it's so soft I wish you could feel how soft this is. So two pounds for that. And then my final couple of things, I've got two dresses and they're really lovely. This one is from, oh, that's the wrong way, isn't it? Yeah, that's the back. This one's from Next. These were two pounds each as well. Um, no haggling, that was just the price. So it's a size 10. There's birds on the roof again, size 10. Um, but it's actually quite big. So it's a dress, it's not like a tight dress. I think it's more of a, a smocky dress. So. It do, it's really nice on actually it's just quite um quite what's the word quite comfortable and it just yeah it's just nice and roomy and i love the the color and anything all next dresses are, are really quite nice really good quality and this one feels like it's brand new sorry the birds are going nuts in the garden i don't know if you can hear them but it's pink and white or pink and cream really pretty pattern with some nice sleeves and then it does go in but it's not like a stretchy one it's cotton and then it's kind of it flares out down here but it's kind of past the knee um yeah size 10 from next and that's the back of it so a really lovely dress for two pounds so i shall be wearing that it's really um it's like non-sweat material isn't it it's just lovely and soft and light so yeah two pounds for that and then my final one is this really pretty dress from Tesco so this was two pounds as well how cute is that I love the pattern it's a little bit like the um the MS or Laura Ashley throw isn't it so it's yellow and blue or orange I think orange and blue and green I love the sleeves the material's kind of stretchy crepey material so I'm not sure what it's called I haven't got many dresses like this but it's nice actually because it's stretchy but it's also um I don't know it it's uh it just feels nice on on your skin because it's got a little bit of texture to it so i thought that was lovely the only thing is like the sleeves are gorgeous i really like it it's a great length it's um quite long it's midi length it's got a little split up the side but that only goes like up to the knee so it's not like a, a thigh split because i can't get away with that and um, it goes in at the middle but the only thing is and i didn't see this it's why you should look at everything you buy at car boot sales or you know anything you buy in general but it's got a little hole at the back there which uh i don't know i had a hole in my back like that you know an address so oh there's a fly now um so yeah i don't know what do you think hello it's like it you know wants to say hi i don't know if i'm comfortable having a section of my back out I don't know. Mm. And it could be potentially a bit see-through. Are you a see No, you're not a see-through dress, actually. So it would be okay, but then you'd have a section of your back. So when I wear it, I'm going to be conscious my my back is out. There's only a tiny section. I don't think I can really... I'm not sure what to do, but it's quite a... You know, it's not just a hole. It's got some frills on it as well. So it's like, hello, I'm frilly too. So you have to look at me. Or maybe I should just get on with it and wear it because you can have things like that, can't you? I just, I haven't bought anything like that with a hole at the back before. So um, would you just wear it and get on with it? Because if it's hot, it might be nice to have a bit of air into a section of your back there. And then it's got this bit here and a little um, dewy uppy button at the back. But I, I absolutely love it. I think it's gorgeous. I'm just not sure about that. Or maybe I just need to get on with it and um, yeah, and just wear it anyway. I love it though, it's so pretty. That's from Tesco, I don't know if I said that. F and F, Florence and Fred, size 12, I think. Oh, size 14. Um, and yeah, that's it really, this lovely material. So really nice, pretty midi dress. So great for two pounds. And you're just so pretty, I, I love you. Right, so that is everything in my car boot sale haul. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you give it a like and subscribe as well if you um, if you haven't subscribed already. I'll link last week's video. I've been doing so many car boot sale hauls recently, so I'll link them all below. I think there's about five now, I think, four or five car boot sale hauls that I've done recently. And you can also, if you wanna see how we made this outdoor kitchen thing, I've got a video for that as well, which I'll link below. So I've just got my um, hanging basket up. I got that from a car boot sale. I've got a few other little plants down here as well that you 
you um, might be able to see there. They look lovely, my olive tree. Oh, this was from a car boot sale. I don't know if I showed this actually. This was 30 pounds. It's quite a chunky olive tree. It's so healthy as well. It's, um, yeah, it's lovely. If you did have a favorite item in this haul, add it to the comments below. I just, I love everything. In particular, like the gingham cushion covers, the throw, the jugs, the little matches. Um, the matches thing is great. Probably the jugs thrown, the, the cushions are probably my favourite in this haul. I, I love them. So yeah, if you do have a favourite, add it below. Any tips for any of the plants that I've bought, please add them as well, because everything is all welcome. Any information on the flowers and plants that I've bought, um, that would be great as well. But I shall speak to you next week. I'll say a quick goodbye, then I'm going to show you the dresser and the shelves. Um, and yeah, I'll speak to you next week. I think I've got another car boot sale haul. I'm going to do the one pound box. So I bought a box for a pound. I don't really know what's in it. I just saw some bits on top and thought that would probably make a good video. So I might do that for next week, the one pound box video. So that'll be here um, next week. And then probably a charity shop haul after that. And I still need to do a Facebook marketplace um, video as well, or my Facebook marketplace finds. I haven't forgotten. I just haven't done it yet. Um, but thanks so much for watching. Have a great weekend. I'll come over to Instagram as well. I'm Kate McCabe on Instagram and Kate's Georgian Home is my house account i'll link those below have a lovely weekend and i shall see you next week at two o'clock take care bye bye or oh, don't go yet though because i'm going to show you the um you know the dresser but yeah have a lovely weekend bye bye and here is the dresser so there's all sorts on here at the moment i've got the jugs in the middle i've still got to take the price tags off them but i just put them on there for now so you could see so i think they look lovely there the colors are just yeah just so pretty and then i've got the little bottles here little vintagey bottles. I've got um, my tray from last week, from last week's car boot sale, the Emma Bridgewater tray, and just a few different teapots and things. My my flower books that I told you about, they're over there. Some little plants, and then I've just put the wildflowers book here for now, um, but I'll move that and put it with the books over there in just a second. But yeah, here's the dresser, and if you want to see how this area looks, you know, in full, I'll link the video below the... Um, outdoor kitchen how we made it um, below in the description box but thanks so much for watching have a great weekend and i'll see you next week bye bye